All right, so in this video series, I'm going to show you how to free up some space um, in Cody. A lot of times when you're watching movies and listening to music, watching TV, it downloads temporary files onto the Cody. So what I'm going to do is go over how to install a program that will actually remove those temporary files, thus freeing up a lot of space and eliminating the error message you may get when watching movies and TV on Kodi regarding space. All right, so first you're going to go to system and then you're going to go down to file manager and you're going to go all the way down to where it says add source. I'm going to click that. All right, once you're in there, you're going to double click in here. And you're going to type exactly what I'm typing here into this address bar. It's going to be solved.no-issue.ca. Then after that, you're going to hit done. Um, enter a name for this source. We can just keep it simple and call it no issue. All right. Click done and then click OK. All right, so after you've done that, you're gonna go back and you're gonna go to System and you're gonna go to Add-ons and you're gonna go to Install from Zip File and you're gonna look for your No Issue right there. You're gonna click that and you're gonna go to Maintenance and this represent rep dot raw maintenance dot zip. That's the one that we want to go ahead and install. So we're going to click that and let that install. We'll get a message. Raw media has been added. All right. So once that has been added, you're going to go back out again. I'm going to go back again. We're going to go over to programs and we're going to look for that uh, raw media add-on that we just installed raw maintenance there we go it's right there so click that all right I'm gonna click on maintenance and so this step is very important that you follow the sequence in which I tell you all right so first what we're gonna do is you want to do the clear cache and the reason that you want to do this one first is because um, that's typically the simplest one so it's gonna tell you how many it found you want to delete them yes sure all right so it's done clearing those second in sequence we want to go ahead and click on purge packages now this is a little bit different this is gonna go ahead and delete all of the files and reps that you're not using anymore that have become obsolete but still downloaded temporary files onto your Kodi system so you're going to click that we found 190 packages wow we're going to delete them all yes and lastly we're going to click on delete thumbnails now the reason that we're going to do this one last um you'll see now the thumbnails that it's going to delete don't be alarmed it won't be deleting every thumbnail on your Kodi. what it is going to do is delete all of the temporary thumbnails that are downloaded when you're looking for sources when you're scrolling through sources all of those temporary picture files take up a large amount of data so we're going to go ahead and we're going to delete those now again it deletes all thumbnails are you sure you want to do this yes yeah, sure all right now the reason that we did that one last is because after you do it it's going to ask you to restart your Kodi system to rebuild the thumbnail library all right so you're going to click OK and then from here you can actually if you're using a fire stick or fire TV um, with this Kodi app you can actually very easily you don't have to do a force um, unplug or anything literally you'll hit the home button on your remote go down to settings um, back into manage applications and just force close Kodi or if you just feel more comfortable pulling the plug pull the plug after that you'll see that you freed up a bunch of space on your Kodi device and now you will not receive that error message saying that you don't have enough memory thanks again for watching any questions comments leave them below and i'll reply as soon as possible